So we are going to start with adding of mixed numbers. So add mixed numbers with like denominators. So if I have two and three eighths plus one and uh, one eighth, one, sorry, one and one eighth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw my model. Now remember, whatever I do, you must do too. So draw this on your paper as well, okay? So, I'm going to draw two and three eighths. I'm gonna draw two holes, right? And then three eighths. So each one of these has to be broken up into eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we are going to shade in all of this one, all of the second one, and only three eighths of the the last one. Okay. Now, if I was going to draw my model for my next one, because I'm, remember I'm adding, I'm going to draw one hole, right, and then a second one for my one eighth. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have yours drawn on your paper as well. If you need to, pause the video and draw it in. Okay, so for one and one eighths, I'm gonna color in one hole, right? Because that's where that one comes in. One hole, and then just one piece of the second one. Okay, now if I'm gonna add them together, how many holes do I have? If I count, I got one, two, three. So three holes, right? And then how many do I have of the eighths, the fraction part? Well, if I count one, two, three, four, I have four eighths of the fraction part. All right, ready? Flip to the next page, 378. 378, we are continuing with adding of fractions. Okay, so here they're showing you one and one fifth plus two and two fifths. Well, I know I'm going to separate, I can separate the one and the two, right? And put them together. One and two, because those are my whole numbers, right? One and two will give me three. And then I can add my fraction parts, one fifth and two fifth. One fifth plus two fifths is three fifths. And then if I join them back together, I have three and three fifths. So one and one fifth plus two and two fifths is three and three fifths. All right, our next example is, we can do it this way, where I'm going to add and make it into, each of them into fractions. So if I make four and two eighths into a fraction, it would become 38 eighths. If I make two and seven eighths into a fraction, it would become 28, 23 eighths. If I add them together, I have 57 eighths. But I can't forget that I still need to add one eighth to that. So I'm going to end up with what? Well, I'm going to end up with, I'm going to have, if I add that one eighth in, okay? So they're saying this is my whole number, right? Pull out those whole numbers, right? So I'm going to end up with six and nine eighths. So this is six and nine eighths. All right, let's look at the bottom. Let's do the try it together. So I have one and two fours. Sorry, I'm trying to get my paper set. I have one and two fours. All right, and two and one fourth. Now I'm gonna add them together. One plus two will give me three as my whole number. And then I'm just gonna add my fractions. Two plus one is three, and my denominator stays the same. Okay, gonna go to the next one. Five plus two is seven. Add my fractions, one plus nine is 10, and then my denominator stays the same. Oh, but look here. This is what? A whole number. So if I make this into a whole number, my answer is actually going to be what? Seven plus one, if I make that into the whole number of one, is equal to eight. So my answer is actually eight. 
Here, again, join. 5 plus 3 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. I have 3 thirds. Again, there's another one that's equal to the whole number of 1. So I'm actually going to say 8 plus 1, which is equal to 9. So my answer is 9. Let's continue. I have 2 plus 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. 8 plus 5 is going to give me 13 twelfths. Well, I know that I can pull out a whole number out of that, right? I can pull out 12 twelfths, right? So I can pull out 12 twelfths and I would have 1 twelfths left. So this would actually be, if I add that 1 to that 9, that would be 10 and 1 twelfth. All right, next one, 4 plus 1 and uh, 1 half. Well, 4 plus 1 is 5, so I have 5 and 1 half. All right, let's look at the in-class practice. In-class practice, they just lined it up on top of each other. It's the same idea, though. I'm going to say 78 plus 124. 78 plus 124, okay? So let's do that. Let's line that up. Let's do 124, 78. 4 plus 8 is going to give me 12. Carry my 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 10. Carry my 1. So I end up with 202. So here my answer is 202 one hundredths and 3. Well, I know I can pull out whole numbers because this is an improper fraction. And I know that I can pull out 1. And I can pull out 2 out of that, right? 1 and 2 because that would give me 200, right? If I do 200 minus, or 202 minus 200, I'm going to end up with 2 one hundredths. And if I add these whole numbers in, right, because this is 1, this is 1, right? Add those in, I'm going to end up with 5 and 2 one hundredths. All right, let's get the next, try it, or in class practice. So I got 4, 3, and 4. I'm going to add 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 4 is going to give me 11 eighths. 6 plus 5 plus 2 is going to give me 15. So I have 15 and 11 eighths. But again though, I know I can pull out 8 eighths out of here, right? If I say 11, if I pull out 8 eighths, what is 11 minus 8? 11 minus 8 will give me what? You should have said 3. So I have 3 eighths left. Now I'm going to take that 1 and I'm going to add it to the 15. Because I'm going to add it as a 1. So that 15 becomes a 16. So my answer is 16 and 3 eighths. Make sure you are doing this with me as we're going through the book. Alright, let's try another one. 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's going to give me 7 fifths. Then I'm going to say 10 plus 9 plus 4. I know that 10 plus 9 is 19, right? Plus 4 is going to give me 23. Now, I know I can pull out a what? 5 fifths. If I pull out a 5 fifths, I'm going to add that over here as a whole number of 1. Okay, so that 23 becomes a 24. And if I subtract to find out what I have left, I would end up with 2 fifths because 7 minus 5 is 2. So I would end up with 2 fifths. All right, let's turn to the model real life. All right, so you pick 2 and 3 fourths pounds of cherries. Your friend picks two, 1 and 2 fourths pounds of cherries. How many pounds of cherries I'm going to put a box around that because that's important information. How many pounds of cherries do you and your friends pick in all? In all means I'm going to do what? If you said add, you are correct. So I'm going to say 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 2 fourths. Well, I know 3 plus, four, or 3 plus 2 is 5. So I have 5 fourths here and 2 plus 1 is 3. Well, wait. I can pull out a whole number out of that 5 fourths. So I'm going to pull out 4 fourths. 4 fourths is equal to the whole number of 1, which I'm going to add to my whole number. 
So my three becomes a four. And then what is five minus four? One. So I have four and one fourth is my answer. All right, let's go on to the practice page. Again, they're up here at the top. If you still don't understand, look at this explanation of how we are adding. All right, let's look at number one. I'm going to again add, right? One plus three is four. Four fifths, right? Four plus eight, that's going to give me 12. Now, can I pull out any whole numbers out of this? Well, no, because I, it's a proper fraction. I have a smaller number on top, bigger number on the bottom, bigger number in my numerator, or sorry, smaller number in my numerator, bigger number in my denominator. So, nope. Cannot do that, okay? Let's look at the next in class practice. So this is, stays like this. I don't have to change it. Here I'm going to add 10 plus 9 is 19. 6 plus 5 is 11. So I have 11 eighths. Can I pull out a whole number out of this? Yes, I can pull out 8 eighths. If I pull out 8 eighths, I'm going to add it over here to this side as 1. Okay, I'm going to add this as 1. So that 1 gets added to that 19. That 19 becomes a 20. Now, 11 minus 8 will give me 3. So I have 3 eighths as my fraction. So my answer is 20 and 3 eighths. Let's look at the next one. 6 plus 2 is 8. I have 8 and 1 16th. Now, I can't pull out any whole numbers out of that, so I'm going to leave that one just the way that it is. All right, next one, I have 3 and 10 twelfths plus 4 and 10 twelfths. So I'm going to add my 3 and 4. That's going to give me my what? My 7. 10 and 10 is going to give me 20 twelfths. Well, I can look here and go, oh, well, I know that if I have a bigger number on top, then I do on the bottom. That means I can pull out a whole number. So I'm going to pull out 12 twelfths. I'm going to add it over here as 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. And then 10, uh, 20 minus 12 will give me what? 8 twelfths. And I know that that now is a a uh, proper fraction because I have an 8 on the top in my numerator or 12 on the bottom in my denominator. This is the smaller number. This is the bigger number. And I can't pull out any more whole numbers. All right, I want you to do the next two on your own. Try to do these two on your own. And then ask the sub for a uh, more practice paper that she has.